Okay, this is the third video of this series where I took a problem out of one of the AP exam free response calculator sections and I worked through the three portions of that. The first, uh, the first one was find the area of R, the second one was find the area of S, and now we're asked to find the volume of the solid generated when S, this S right here, is revolved about the line Y is equal to negative 1. So here's Y is equal to negative 1. And this little picture I started to draw is exactly what's happening. Is so we're going to take this blade that's formed in section S, this purple part of the blade, which is formed by the sine function, and the pink part of the blade, which is created by the 4 to the negative x power function. And we're going to rotate it around here. So I think what we're going to get is this. We're going to get this thing that looks like this. We're going to get this thing that looks like this kind of it's got a hole in this and I don't know how to make that right but the inside of it is going to be cut out look at this for a second the inside of it is going to be cut out the outside of it is going to be cut out by this piece in there right and then the inside portion is going to be cut out by the pink part of that blade which is going to look like well that's not pink at all is it right so it's going to end up the whole inside of it is going to end up looking like that so that's what I think our little thing is going to look like. It's going to have a hole through it. You can pass a line through there. So because of that, I think we're going to use the washer method. And using the washer method, remember that the washer method says this, that the volume of a bounded region that's rotated is demonstrated by pi times the definite integral from A to B of this mess here, which is big R of X, that is the larger radius squared minus the smaller radius squared DX. This is going to be an important thing for you to write because this is from the calculator section. And what, I, what I'm concerned about is that you get to the calculator section, then you just use a calculator and write an answer. You're going to get nothing for that. You're going to get nothing. You're going to ha have put together this really great calculus in your head and have demonstrated nothing and not get points. So let's try to avoid that and let's try to get all your points. So I'm going to say that. And now what we're going to do is start filling in the blanks here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start rewriting this. And I'm going to turn this into the function just the way I want it to be. So I'm going to say that the volume that I'm looking for is pi times the definite integral. And what I did was I went to my calculator. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second, but I found the intersections, and the intersection is, the intersections are 0.178, and this one is as an x value, and this one right here has an x value of 1, so that's what I want. Now I'm going to start to construct this part. So I know that the outside part of the blade is, is started by that sine function, isn't it? So it's going to be 1 fourth sine pi x, but remember we have to accommodate this part here, and this thing has a radius, adds to the radius 1, doesn't it? So plus 1. Now just to stick to form, this 2 right here is this 2, this negative sign right here is this negative sign, and now I need to do the same thing. I need to figure out, well, what's that small radius? This pink thing right here is going to be spinning also, right? It's going to be spinning around and around and around. So that is also going to be its function, which is 4 to the negative x power, so 4 to the next negative x power, but it's going to have an additional radius of 1, so plus 1, right? That's distance, right? And that whole thing squared dx. Now what you've done, out of 9 points possible for this question, you have gotten most of them. All you have to do now is actually use your calculator, but this demonstrates your calculus, and this is what your AP reader wants to know. Now let's go ahead and see where I got some of this stuff. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put in that volume is equal to, and we're going to come back and fill in what that value is. But now I'm going to go to my TI Inspire CX CAS, which is here. And I'm just going to, let me show you some of the work I did really quickly. I went, I went here. So I just plugged these functions in, right? I just put these functions into my calculator. From here, I went to menu. I'm not going to do them all again, but I just want to show you really quickly to analyze graph, to intersect, and ask us what graph I'm talking about, this graph and this one. 
And then look, it says lower bound at the bottom left of the screen. It says lower bound. And what it wants is some point to the left of that point right there. So to the left of that. Now it says upper bound. So it wants something to the right of where I think the intersection is. And it gave me this number. I did exactly the same thing here to get that value. All right? Now what I need to do is go into the calculator and have the calculator generate the value that this thing is worth. So I'm going to go to the calculator section here. And I'm going to just do that bit of calculus that I wrote on the test. And you should be copying it right from the test. And it says... So we're going to go to menu, going to go to calculus, calculus integral. Now, here's a little thing that you're going to do a little bit differently is that you're going to go backwards because remember that we said volume is pi times that. So I'm going to do that. If you don't mind, I'm going to do pi. Sometimes your calculator will make a mistake, and it's called implied multiplication. So I don't want to screw with this. I'm just going to tell it I am definitely multiplying. All right? If you remember, we just went back, and we got our lower and upper bounds. Our lower bound was 0.178. Our upper bound was 1. Right? I'm going to use my right cursor to go over here. I'm going to put two sets of parentheses in. So there's one and there's the other. And remember that we had we had one fourth, right? Plus sine of pi x. So sine pi x. Wow. Can you guys see how I screwed that up? You gotta really pay attention so you don't screw that up on the test. Because your calculator won't tell you you misspelled something. Side pi, and if I wanted pi, go to here and then choose pi x. Remember that it was plus one. I'm going to skip over to the other side of parentheses and remember that was squared, right? Minus the smaller radius, which was four to the negative x power. Right cursor over, remember plus one there, plus one. Now I'm going to right cursor over twice. Whoops, you see what I screwed up? Somebody almost caught me on that. I have to square that, so squared, right? Now I'm going to right cursor over here. Remember, we actually have time. If you know how to use your calculator, well, you have tons of time, so don't freak out. I'm going to just check and make sure I have everything in the way I want it, and I do. And going to hit enter, and that is the correct value, 4.55876. I'm going to go back to the test and type in that value, right? I'm going to type in that value. How the hell did I forget it? Right, 4.55. I forgot what it was. 876, is that what it was? But whatever, I should have written more in. Just to be safe, though, when you're giving the volume, use the approximation sign. It'll give you a, little bit, a tiny bit of room for slop. Not a ton. They're not going to let you be off by a bunch of digits, but they'll let you be off a little bit. So... This is what my answer would look like. So if I was taking the AP exam, the calculator section, and they asked me this question, I would use my calculator, but I would provide all of this documentation. How did I get where I was? Hell, I might even draw that picture, right? All right. I hope this was really helpful for you. I want you to do great on this test. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it.